In studio is Tom Gross, British political commentator. Tom, we spoke a lot about uh, the Queen's uh, influence around the world. I want to speak a little bit about the state of Israel. The Queen has visited many uh, countries around the world, particularly here in this region in the Middle East, never visited Israel. Talk to us about that. Yes, uh, that's a matter of some controversy, in fact. She visited at least 129 different countries. Many of them she visited on many occasions, including almost every Arab country, almost every Arab dictatorship, but she didn't visit the democratic state of Israel. Now, this would not be of her choosing. The British Foreign Office uh, basically decides which trips she goes on, but it was very much viewed as a snub that she never visited visited Israel, where she visited, you know, she embraced President Assad of Syria, she's been to Libya, or she's met Gaddafi, I believe, when he was uh, the dictator of Libya. She's met dictators in Africa as well, and other places. Uh, she's been to other democracies in Europe, so there is a question to be asked as, you know, maybe she didn't have any power, maybe it was just uh, completely the Foreign Office. And to be fair, Prince Charles and his son, sorry, King Charles now, and his son, Prince William, um, did have a successful visit to Israel. So attitudes of the British royal family have changed in the last five years or so. But there were questions asked for some decades as to why the Foreign Office did not send her to Israel. And at the same time, the, we can say that the Jewish community under her reign has thrived uh, in the UK. We've seen Jews in many influential uh, points of power, in economy, in politics, in diplomacy. Um, talk to us a little bit about that. Well, yes. Um, I don't think that's necessarily uh, directly the doing of the Queen. But what the Queen has offered is stability. And of course, when countries are stable and democratic, Jews as a minority do better. So because Britain's been stable, and we have to thank the Queen for that, British Jews have done relatively well compared to in many other countries. I mean, it's a very general rule. Um, minorities fare better under democracies, not, not just Jews. I might point out that the new British government that was formed just two days ago, there's not a single white man in the senior new positions. They're people of uh, Asian origin, of African origin, of women, and so on. So not just Jews, but other minorities too have flourished in Britain and I guess that's why the Queen is much loved both among British Jews but also among British Hindus and British Muslims even though she's actually the head of the Church of England. Officially the British monarch is the head of a church as well as being the monarch. So she's the head of the Church of England or rather she has tragically passed away so now her son who is now King Charles III will become head of the Church of England but of course they they realise that Britain's a multi cultural society and therefore uh, they've become more you know uh, aware in recent years to make sure that they uh, honor other faiths and other communities including the Jewish community yes and we're seeing on our screens now